Jesus says back to Peter, get behind me, Satan. We have to remember who he is in the text. That Jesus is not this angry, depressed, anxious dude headed towards the cross. That he's anointed with the oil of gladness. That he's the happiest man that ever lived. And that he has nothing but deep, affectionate love for his disciples. And so Jesus' response to Peter is not one of resentment or wrathful anger, but of deep love to help Peter recognize the severity of not being in the will of God, but in the will of Satan. Imagine a kid is going into fast moving traffic and a parent, what would you do? I mean, we got parents in the room, right? Instinctually, everything in you would take all of your strength to rip that child away from that road. Now the child is gonna get hurt in the moment, but it's so much better than the pain that could have come if the child went in the street, right? The child doesn't have the perspective of the parent. And I think in the same way, we have to have the perspective of Jesus in this moment where he realizes, Peter, if you ever go anywhere near the will of Satan, he will corrupt you from the inside out and you don't stand a chance. This is the future of the church. This is the guy that Jesus is building the church upon. And here's what I love. I don't think it's any different for us. What a privilege it is to be the hands and feet of Jesus. You know? that everywhere we go, we bring the hope of Christ with us. 